Hello, my first grade friends out there, and actually just any friend that's actually able to see this video. Um, tonight's uh, book, um, I read a book about Pig the Pug um, a few weeks ago, I believe. And so um, at one of our book fairs, I picked up a couple more of the books because I just love pugs. Pugs are my favorite type of dogs. They're so cute. In fact, I want one one day, and I hope to get one one day. So this one is called Pig the Fibber. Look at his eyes. He is the cutest thing ever. Oh, love it. No, it's pigs. And the name Trevor is crossed out. Pig the Fibber. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say he would often tell lies just to get his own way. Uh oh, that's not good. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. Trevor's a wiener dog. You see, he would mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just point and say, Trevor did it. Look at their eyes. Look at that. Trevor doesn't look too happy, does he, to be getting blamed. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase of flowers. And then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. That's not, I'm, if I was Trevor, I'd be pretty mad. He once even ripped up an old, a lovely old dress. Then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. Of He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They kept, come, they keep them up there in the closet up high. But before I can get them, I need a good lie. Hmm. And with that, he let rip. It was stinky and grim. Ugh. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance, and he climbed on a chair. Those trees will be mine, and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those trees... Oh, I wonder what this shiny thing is behind it. Was an old bowling ball. And we know bowling balls are really heavy. The, these days it's different. I'm happy to say Pig has stopped lying. Hip, hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth. But he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Look at him all bandaged up. Do you think he deserved that bowling ball falling on his after telling all those fibs and getting Trevor in trouble? What do you think? So don't fib, guys. Remember, we want to always tell the truth. We'll see you later.